Hey, what's up everybody? Check it out. Sorry I missed you last week. Wasn't able to get around to it. Uh, very busy last week, but here we are today. And this goes out to a friend of mine, Scott, here in Las Vegas. He's a beginner and uh, I'm hoping to uh, enlighten him a little bit. And it was a great idea for a lesson. Again, welcome you to the channel. It's called Guitar Goals Now. Whether your dreams are to just learn a few chords, have some fun with your friends, play around a campfire, or do you want to take it all away, build a career in music, and become the next guitar hero? So today what I want to talk about is uh, a purchase you should make. This is a $99 guitar. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not endorsed. They gave me, uh, I bought this with my own money. So this here is an Epiphone guitar, and I bought it from Guitar Center. Again, I'm not sponsored. I bought this from Guitar Center. It's $99, and uh, it's the best investment I've ever made because you take this $99 guitar, dollar guitar, and you can put it anywhere, set it on the ground, set it in a guitar stand, or just have it around the house. When you have a $1,000, $2,000 guitar, you don't want to leave it uh, out of the uh, case. You want to protect your investment. So this is one where you just spend 100 bucks, $99, and you can leave it laying around. And you can always pick it up and practice. What we're going to do talk about today is tuning a guitar. For this point, I wanted to show you something real quick. Uh, our Nirvana song, which I don't have any copyrights to, uh, but I just want to show you a little bit of it. I'm tuned down a whole step. We're going to get into that more later. But for today, uh, uh, standard tuned would be A440. So you can either do that in the way I'm going to show you briefly, or you can get a tuner again from Guitar Center. This costs around 20 bucks, and you can plug in an electric guitar, or also you could turn it on and it has a speaker for acoustic guitars, and you just play an E string and then tune from there. I'm gonna show you how that goes. But this goes out for Scotty. I wanted to show you a little something. He would see if you know what this song is. It goes like this. Anyway, anyway, so that's uh, what you call it's tuned down a whole step. We're not going to get into that. So what you want to do when you're tuning your guitar, you get an a, you get an E string from another guitar. You how it's lower. We're going to match that tuning. So now you have your E or 440. So what you do is you go from the fifth string, uh, I'm sorry, the fifth fret on the top string or the E string, and then you match the tone from this note to this note. Hear how they don't match? So you gotta tune it up. My good friend Scott says he's a rapper, he's doing great, got a lot of songs, 500 in his catalog, but he never learned how to play the guitar and he wants to learn the notes and so this is a little bit for him but it's for everybody watching and uh, we're going to get started. Like I said, get yourself uh, one of these acoustic guitars that you can leave laying around so you can always pick it up and start practicing. So you go from the 5th fret on the 6th string and match the 5th string. You hear that? Then you do the same thing on the 5th fret of the 5th string to the 4th string. Hear how that's off? Now you can hear how they match. And you want to do it again on the 4th string to the 3rd string. Hear that? 
man. You on now is we got a trick on the G string. On the G string, you have to go to the fourth fret because of the tuning of the guitar. It's a half a step off. So you'll learn more about that later. But for now, just trust me that you go to the fourth fret on your G string to match the B string, which is your second string on your guitar. Hear how far off that is? Far off? So what you do is you match the tone right there like that. And then the final string, you go on the B or the second string on your guitar back to the fifth fret and match with the little string or the E, the top E. Hear how sour that sounds? So you got to bring it up to match the tone of the fifth fret on the B string. There we go. So now you're in tune. again go over to my Instagram page guitar goals now and uh, give me a follow and uh, I'm gonna show you the C G E and D chords open chords they're called and you can learn a lot of songs with those four chords this would be a G the C a D and an A or we have a minor has a storm. Why didn't I write this song? The intro is just G and C. I lie silent still in the dead of the night. And though we both lie close together, we feel miles apart inside. Was it something I said or something I did? Did the words not come out right to the D? Though I try not to hurt you, though I try, I see. And then G, he said, every road has its own. I don't want to get dinged for copyright, so we just showed a little bit of that. Again, go out, get yourself a $99 guitar leave it around the house, practice, pick it up at all the times, come back and join me on the channel and follow me along and hopefully I can help you and hope all your dreams are coming true. So don't forget Guitar Goals Now, go to Instagram, also go to YouTube and give me a subscribe and a like and please share it. So like I said, we'll see you in the next video, hoping all your dreams come true. See you next time.
YouTube. Uh, you're on here now. 